Hi guys, welcome back to part 5 of Is Sean San Alive? If you have not seen part 1 through 4, you can watch it using the link in the description below and then come back here for part 5. In my last video, I explained to you how Isak could have became a Hamby. In this video, I would like to go over each person and how they turn. Since my first few videos, my original theory was off. Now that I have refined the theory, things should make more sense. But first, let's answer the question, who exactly killed Isak? It was Nayeon screaming. <laughs> Chon san isolated Isak by pulling Anja away. And us. Yep, that's right. You, me, us, we. We use logic. And I'm pretty sure when you watch this for the very first time, you in your head with your logic, with your years experience of watching zombies films, say to Anjo, get away from Isak. We agree with Chan San. I'm pretty sure the first time you watched this, you didn't like Anjo. We all know that Anjo was low grade, but we didn't know Anjo was this bad to hug a turning zombie. So we used our logic to kill Isak. And instantly the moment Isak felt isolated, Fear was released and the virus took over, stopping her heart and transforming Isak into a zombie. Had Anjo continued to be by her side just like Su Yok by Namda's side, then Isak would have turned into a Hamby instead of a zombie. We were told by the director from the very beginning in All of Us Are Dead, logic doesn't work here. So while other zombie films try to be unique by coming up with new zombie names, in All of Us Are Dead, the director make All of Us Are Dead unique by changing the way how we think about zombies. And that is a whole new level of zombies instead of calling zombies something else. For example, as we saw Green Up got so much blood in his face, eyes, and mouth, we were like, what? Why didn't he turn? Because the director is telling us that this is a different type of zombies. Our logic of zombies from all the other movie doesn't apply here. Daesu and Mrs. Park got zombie blood all over their face and no turning. And even kissing doesn't turn you. Our logic of zombies do not apply here. At the very beginning in Mrs. Park's class, she was talking about prejudice. We all have preconceived ideas about others. And Namda said, It is referring to two things. First, we know it was referring to Nayeon and Gansu. As, as Nayeon doesn't know much about Gansu and calling him names. The second is referring to us. As we carry the logic of zombies with us from one movie to another, we use that logic in here thinking that zombie film is just like all the others we have seen before. Another example of logic is my videos. Last time, I made a video called Everything Wrong with All of Us is Dead Episode 1. Notice, restricted area. Anyone can enter at any time. And swinging doors for your convenience. All the things he grabbed. A Bible? Son, I've always wanted to teach you about the Bible, but I guess reading it to you doesn't work. So let's try a different method this time. When things are super important, it must be written in English. And he took that personally. I have some viewer right away jump into conclusion. Some said mine was a copy of Cinema Sins. Others said that things don't make sense. Well, that's because my video isn't a copy. It is similar. Yes, it has the bell ding noise. I don't use it to count sins. I use it because it's a great trigger that let people know I'm moving on to the next point. It has the same title, but my ultimate goal is to have fun. And even some of my theory videos, some viewers said that my theory is wrong, but I'm not trying to be right. I'm just having fun, that's all. When I made this channel, I only had two goals in mind. One, to make you guys have a good laugh. Two, create a place where people can carry on a discussion. So the point is, some people came to my channel expecting things to be right, expecting things to make sense. They carry the logic with them that the standard has been set by the other channels on YouTube. So when my videos don't make sense to them, they turn into Nayeon and leave nasty comments. But no worry guys, none of these nasty comments affect me. The only comments that affect me are your beautiful comments and your support. I love reading those. And that was another example of prejudice, preconceived ideas, and how logic can sometimes is not a good thing. All right, now that everything is in the open, let's answer your burning questions. Who can become a Hamby? The answer is anyone. 
Isak became a zombie, she could have became a Hanby, she has very little fear at the time of infection, so the virus has very little fear to feed on, so it can only grow slowly. But because Isak was isolated from the group, that isolation made her felt fearful, and so Isak ended up with a lot of fear, which turned into anger by the virus, in other words, becoming a zombie. With Minji, she got a kick from Nayeon and that made her felt isolated and released a lot of fear which the virus turned into anger by the virus, in other words, becoming a zombie. The same thing happened to Ha Lim. In the restroom, she was doing okay, but Minji called her out. <laughs> She was doing okay, but then she called her out, making Halim feel isolated, and that made her even more frightened, which released a lot of fear, and so the virus took over. Next we have is Gansu. His infection is slow so he has a chance of becoming a Hanby. But of course, it's your best Nayeon with her high pitched voice only to invoke some fear in Gansu and that allowed the virus to slowly take over. But because, once again, logic tell us to stay away from a person turning, as we can see even Mrs. Park was isolating the group from Gansu. That made Gansu even more fearful and the virus quickly take over. <laughs> Now this moment right here is important. Even if you are brave, the virus lives off of fear, making you even more afraid and as you release even more fear. It's a positive feedback loop that allows the virus to take over your body even faster. Nayeon and Jimin, they are very frightened even when they are alive. So they have so much fear, free food for the virus. <laughs> Yunji became a hammy because at the moment of infection, she has no emotion of fear. The virus lives off of fear, so when it enters her body, yay guys, we're here, it's time to feed. Uh, oh wait, what happened? Where's her fear? Shiz, guys, this girl has no fear. What the hell? How are we going to survive? We're all going to die. Ah! So, uh, the only emotion she had at that time was anger. Well, the virus turned fear into anger, but if she has no fear and just anger, how is the virus going to survive? So the virus have to evolve and learn to eat a new kind of emotion. In this case, anger. It's like you eating food. You know, if you go to another country and all they have is spicy food and you can't eat spicy food, you're going to starve and die. Your will to survive requires you to eat those spicy food in order to live. And eventually you have to adapt to that spicy food. Because Yunshi has no friends or relative, she can't be isolated, so she doesn't have any fear at all, and the virus can't cause her to hallucinate. So in other words, the virus is at a dead end. <laughs> Get it? The virus reaches a dead end? Anyways, Yunshi became a Hemi. Same thing with Greenham. At the moment of death, he was so angry. Dude, what is going on? We came to eat fear? But this guy has no fear. We are going to die. We have to evolve and find another emotion to feed off of. Also, Green Nam has no one, no isolation, no fear. The virus has to evolve and live with Green Nam. Green Nam became a Hamby. And the same thing with Bion Chan the scientist. Bion Chan has no family member left. He has nothing to live for. Society steps on him. At that moment, Bion Chan would have no fear of anything really, so the virus cannot live if the host has no fear. The virus will find a different emotion to live on. So Bion Chan is another Hemi. For the other characters, many of my viewers misunderstood the concept of bravery. For example, Chan Song's mom. Yes, she is a brave person, but however, at the moment she was bitten, she has 
fear. What fear, you ask? She is afraid that something bad will happen to her son, so she is full of fear. It is the fear that parents have for their kids. Are they okay? Did you eat yet? He's stuck at school. I need to make sure that he's okay. So that fear caused her to become a zombie. Anjo's dad, Sochu, he is a brave person, but at the moment of being bitten, he is afraid for the safety of his daughter. So he isolated himself, and that is fear in which the virus feed on. Same with Jun Young, he is very brave. But at the moment he was bitten, he cared for his group. Thinking that he will turn, he is afraid that he will end up hurting his group. So he isolated himself, and that is fear that the virus feed on. Same with Min Jae. As a character, he is brave, but at the moment facing Green Nam, Min Jae is shocked, and that is enough fear for the virus to feed on and take over. Wu Jin, same with the other. He is also brave, but because he is in a group, he fears for everyone's safety, knowing that he will become a zombie, which made it super easy for the virus to feed on. <laughs> So again, we see the power of logic. Even our character uses logic because they are in a group, they care and worry about the group's safety, they become very afraid that they may end up hurting their group, and that is fear in which the virus feed on. Ironically, with Yunji, Greenam, and Byeongchang, because they have no one, that actually lessened their fear. The nosebleed is just the direction in which the virus is traveling. As we know, zombies can be killed by stabbing or breaking the neck. That's because the virus wants to go for the brain, the final destination. As it travels to the brain, it causes an increase in blood pressure and the nose has a lot of blood vessels that are very thin and easy to pop thus causing a nosebleed. Namna didn't have a nosebleed yet because the virus was just on the left side and didn't get to the other side of her face, so she doesn't have a nosebleed. Therefore, anyone can have a nosebleed and anyone can become a hamby. Now that you know that anyone can become a hamby, as long as you can resist the urge to have any fear, but it's really hard not to have any fear. You will have fear from either being panic, fear of dying, fear that you will turn, or being logical, you can have the fear that you might hurt your group. So that creates fear too. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. See ya.